Previously on Moe's <laughs> Ranch. Damn, Vic. We ain't even started talking about the family yet. They already calling you out, man. That's fucked up, Vic. Ain't no love in the heart of the city. Ain't no love in the heart of town. Damn, ain't no love, man. They don't love Vic like that, man. They don't love Vic like that. Now right, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the damn Flynn family f ups. I guess. I guess, man. I don't even know what to say about this family. One moment you're looking at them like, all right, they're destined for greatness. The next moment you're looking at them like, eh. When when is it going to end for them? Is this the end? You know what I mean? That's how it makes you feel when you think about the Flynn family. You're like, man, I don't know, man. The Flynn's. We've all gave Walter a hard time, but as I was rambling on while we were talking about Tommy, man, maybe the Flynn kids are the worst kids that we've came across. Let me think. They're definitely worse than the Westons. Yeah, they're worse than the Westons. Worse than the Tejadas. The St. Patrick kids? Uh, yeah. I was trying to see what we would put Tariq, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, they got to be like the worst kids in the Power Universe, man. They worse than the Tejadas. The Tejadas are fucking up on a small scale. You know what I mean? The Tejadas, they ain't taking out nobody. Like Now, if the kids would have took out, let's say, Dante, okay. But think about it, man. He just took out Michael. That was the deal for them to get from up under Dublin. You see what I'm saying? Like, Vic is on another level of ignorance. Then we got, <laughs> we got Claudia sleeping with the man that's trying to kill your dad, but the other kid killed the only connect that you had to try to make some money. Being a single father in the power universe it's gotta be one of the worst. <laughs> it's gotta be one of the worst. All your kids are gonna do there's only one thing they can do. Being a father in the power universe, your kid is gonna fuck up. Think about it. Nobody's kid, we like, yeah, okay, that's a good kid. Everybody kid gonna fuck up. And I'm talking about extreme fuck ups. Kanan was catching bodies back in the day. Kanan was 15 years old catching bodies. You know what I mean? It's crazy times out here, man. Kane versus Vic, who I got. Oh man, I got Kane on that one. Man, Vic ain't Vic ain't about to do nothing. Vic gotta be drunk. Kane, Kane just slide just to do it. I mean, Kane was tempted to try to kill his dad. But we're starting to see an evolution in Vic, though. Vic is starting to stand up, and he's like, man, I'm going to take this over. But that's because everyone pushed him out, remember? They pushed him away, and then he had to come back. He had to negotiate with his dad to get Claudia out the scene. So now he's trying to assert his dominance, like, hey, if I'm going to be back, I'm not going to be, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be pushing over. We're going to be partners. It's going to be 50-50. We got the same amount of control because remember, he got messed over in the first episode with his sister when she went out and made that decision about Dahlia and then ended up killing the Kimbis without telling him. So the only way he came back, like I said, is under these circumstances right here. We got two or three of them. It's 50-50. I'm in on every decision. If I make a decision, we got to go with it. And you're not going to treat me like a son. You're going to have to treat me like an equal partner. So that's what we're seeing in Vic. We're starting to see that, well, I won't say his business side, but maybe an evil side. Maybe an evil side. Now, you know, one of my favorite characters was uh, Monty Max. You know what I'm saying? Monty Max on Tiny Toons. He was a rich little kid, but I used to play the Super Nintendo game with him. He used to have a car. Like, his special move 
it was a soccer game or a basketball game. I think you could play either or. But he'll his special move, he'll get in a little uh motorized car and he'll drive fast down the damn court. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then you could go score. So yeah, that was my dog, man. But he was an evil little motherfucker. He was an evil little motherfucker. And that's what we're starting to see from Vic. I said, all right, bet. We're going to develop. All right, we're going to develop something here. We're starting to see him hit his villain arc. Like, listen, Pops, if we're going to do this shit, we're going to do this shit right. Break down. Nice like this, I wish that raindrops would fall. Let it rain. Let it rain on me. Oh, hey, you. So Vic is just letting his dad know, hey, man, I ain't with that foo-foo lame shit either. I'm here to stay. It's like, all right, bet. Come with me on this new deal then. They go and talk to Mikhail. Mikhail's sitting in here and they said, what's up? I said, what's up? In the back, we got old Vic back here. He got the briefcase. Now, Vic with the briefcase means business. You know what I mean? Vic with the briefcase means business. Big business, that is. Now, while he's in here, he's listening to everything that's going on. Now, the conversation... I mean, as far as we know, it's, it's going good at the moment. Now, I couldn't get in here to get no real-world audio, so I, you have to bear with me. I was trying to read lips, pause. But what I heard and seen was they went in here to make this deal. Now, allegedly, Michael kind of disrespected Walter by saying you're not trying to renege from this deal because the deal is supposed to be a big deal. He's the biggest deal we've seen in the power universe for the Flints. This deal is supposed to be a good one. But if you're too scared, you're going to back out. Let me know now. But for Walter Flynn, that's a fucking insult. He he don't be nigg on deals. If he say he going to do it, he going to do it. And they're going to be selling it on the south side. Why it always got to be on our side, man? Why it always got to be on our side? And then out of nowhere, Michael says, well, it's not like the police would care if monkeys popped up dead around the city anyway. Vic said, wait a minute. Fuck you talking about, man. Now, Walter, we know what Walter's about. We know what Walter's about. Walter is business is business, but we found out in season one who Walter was. We know what Walter was and what he is. Now, we know that Vic, he don't see it that way because he used to mess with Gloria. Plus, he was cool with Jannar. He don't see nothing. We all here for one common goal, and that's to get the green. The cream, should I say. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Yeah, you know it. Davis McLean told us that way back in the day, baby. He told us that back in the day. But Vic don't feel right because he don't want to do business with these type of people. Because remember, he's coming back as a business partner with his pa. If you're going to bring me back, you can't talk to me and do shit like this. Now, Walter is like, we need this money because Walter knows big picture. We got Dublin, Brendan Doyle, the one blowing out Claudia's back. He's still on our ass for $4 million that we got to come up with because he sent over the four horsemen who were actually trashed or four pony men. And now we got to pay him back $4 million. We got to do this deal. Now, they putting this fentanyl out in the street, man. These doses are too high. But Walter don't care because business is business. I'm just telling y'all what they said. I ain't making none of this up. This is what they said. Big Walt don't care. Big Walt said business is business. Business is business. And it ain't nothing in between. It ain't nothing in between. Listen, let me tell y'all something. You got business and then you got business. 
And ain't nothing in between there. It's just business and then business. <laughs> Damn. Well, we know Tommy went over there and he was talking to Walter. Claudia goes to her crib. Claudia realizes that, damn, somebody done broke into her goddamn crib. Someone done broke into my crib. And once you see that safe is open, man, that's got to be the worst feeling right there. The safe is open. <gasps> oh, man. That's a heartburn right there. That ain't no, <laughs> that ain't no heart sweat. That's a heartburn right there. Oh. No. Not the safe. But they didn't took everything about the safe, man. Anything of a value, they took it out that safe. Roofers are they took it out that safe, man. She's looking around like, what the fuck? So she got to go to the crib because she's been thinking, first of all, no one could just come up here. The only person that has access to this building is Big Walt Dog. Security would have stopped anybody else. So they come up here. She checks the vault. It's gone. It's empty. She pulls up with Walt Dog. Look at all that. That's acres out there. It's acres out there. She pulls up. Now, Walter, he gets out, and you know, he's already pissed off because everything is going on. Remember, Tommy, he just got back from getting cussed out by Tommy because he was protecting Claudia. And now Claudia is all on his head talking about. Did you break into my place? What are you doing? Well, you can't do this. He said, Tommy fucking Negan knows you pulled the trigger, Claudia. I said, damn, man. Claudia, you need to start paying attention. He said, Tommy Egan fucking knows you pulled the trigger, Claudia. Claudia was like, huh? She said, what about my credit cards? He said, I cut those off too. Like, damn. Damn. Ain't that something? <laughs> Ain't that something? Damn. Did y'all know that Claudia was on the credit card? Did y'all know that she was on the bank account? Did y'all know that Big Walt had her on the bank account? Being on the bank account, that's crazy. It's my money, and I want it now, Dad. She said, you can't take me off the credit card, Pa. What, are you, what am I going to do? You broke into my place? He said, it's my fucking place, Claudia. It's my place. Yeah, I didn't break in there. I entered into the place because it's my place. I did not know she was on Daddy's dollars. Pause. She was on Pop's dollars, man. Where them dollars at? <laughs> Claudia got the glasses for clarity. Hey, then she did put them glasses on. Hey, them glasses. I like Walter Flynn's glasses. Big Walt dog ain't playing, man. This is the second kid he had to cuss out in the less than five hours. This is the second kid in five hours he had to cuss out, man. I'm telling you, it's something about these Flynn's, boy. Walter has to be upset because he got everyone looking for him. He owe money. Everybody owe money. And it's actually, that's what's going on, man. This is the year of debt because everybody owes somebody something. Everybody played a fool. Sometimes, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what damn didn't happen. Damn, Claudia got her money cut off. But we got to admit, Polly tried to help her. Polly told her to calm down and chill. You know what I mean? Polly's like, hey, man, chill, man. He just got cussed out. Tommy was just in his face because of shit you did.
Tommy done cussed everybody out now. Come on, girl. Get right. Get right. Well, then when the next time we see any of these damn Flynn's? Oh, Vic. So they got the new, you know what I'm saying? They dropped the money off. They're supposed to be getting the drugs. Now, this guy's out here. They're supposed to be doing the exchange. Someone's supposed to be coming to pick it up. The only thing is, Tommy, he on some other shit. Tommy's on some other shit. Not Tommy, Victor. My bad. I'm getting them mixed up because Vic is starting to act different. Vic calls the police. He say, uh, hello, there's a white man out here. The FBI. Yeah, this is the FBI. And he has on a blue top. Look like some black slacks. Maybe Stacy Adams. I can't tell. It's a little dark out here. But he has a briefcase and it smells like dope out here. Then he tosses the burner phone out the window. So what he's doing right now is setting up Michael. Since he called black people monkeys and said that no one would care about that, Vic didn't want to work with him from there on out. So for Vic, this is vengeance. You know what I mean? Gloria was his bait. Remember, he said he's doing everything for her. When he was drunk that night at the gravesite, he's saying everything he do is for her. So he called the police. Now, they gave money to Michael. In theory, they supposed to be able to get their money back. But that was not the plan for Vic. See what I'm saying? The initial plan was for Vic to say, hey, we're not doing business with him no more, Dad, because he cut off the supply. Like, all right, boom, they ain't got no more work. Let's get the money back. Or if we don't get the money back, so be it. But. Since Walt tried to do the negotiating, hey, man, he just went up there and killed him. I said, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't have to do all of this, Vic. You didn't have to do all of this. And we know he wasn't supposed to do all of this. Because even Walter didn't even say nothing. He said, we shouldn't even be working with him, Dad. Walter said, clean up your fucking mess. And then he walked off. Man, what was Vic thinking? Dog, did you not did you, did you not listen to anything I told you this morning, son? We are in fucking debt, man. We owe Dublin, man. We don't have any muscle in these streets, man. What the fuck are you doing, Vic? Vic pops up, pop. Say we ain't working with him no more. Walter didn't even know what else to say. He just said, clean this shit up. Just clean it, just clean up. Just clean up. Get the stuff out of my face, man. Go. Go, man. Get to, get to work, bro. Get to work. Damn. Yeah, man. There we go, man. The Flynn family. Vic is stepping up. Vic is trying to become big time. Big Walt dog is just every time he turns around, look left, look right. His kids is fucking up even more. His kids, they fucking up. Oh, uh, man. But shit, it's a good episode. I like what they're doing. This was definitely, I like the way that this episode was written. It was more of a serious episode. And it gives us, I don't know. I won't say, uh. Less of a like an action type, you know what I mean? But more of a realistic drama, you know what I mean? Not like a soap opera or anything, but more of a like an actual drama. You know what I'm saying? Drama with a little bit of action, but it should be like drama first. I like that direction because I don't, the Tommy Egan over the top, like being an action hero, like, I don't know if I really like that with this. So I, I kind of like the direction that they're going in here. It's realistic, like what Vic did right here. What Janara did, all of that, it's like, all right, it's cool. But let's see where they go with it. Let's see where they go with it. I gave it an eight, uh, eight and a half, nine. It's probably one of the better episodes to me. This is probably the best episode so far. Just for me, how it was written, and man, to me, they did a good job. They did a good job. 
they did a good job. Well, if you all can do me a um do me a little solid, you know, I got another channel called The Mo You Know. It's more of a realistic channel where we actually talk about cases that are going on currently, current events, or anything you guys want to talk about. Uh, pinned in the chat, I have my new channel, The Mo You Know. We do live shows over there. We keep up to date on a few things and also join the Discord. It's a cool little spot. We talk about TV shows and the other stuff over there. If you just bored at work, just join in the Discord. Just say something, you know, give a shout out. Hey, what's up? People will holler at you. You know what I'm saying? They'll holler at you. But yeah, it's just a grand old time over there. But yeah, I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers on the Mo You Know. So if you could do that for me, make sure you hit that like button here. I ain't going to lie to you, man. I'm losing my voice a little bit. Five hours, man. That was good. That was good. Definitely need it, though. You know what I mean? Definitely need it. But hit that like button. Hit that subscribe for me. We're on that road to 50,000 subscribers. Support the channel. Cash apps at the bottom of the screen. M-O-E-D-O-T-J. Probably going to do something with my brother tomorrow. You know, I got him some Jaguar gear for his birthday. You know what I mean? It's a good dude, man. It's a good dude. But y'all hit that like button. Oh, what was I supposed to show y'all? I was supposed to show y'all before I got out of here. Damn, I forgot already. Ain't that something, man. Ain't that something. But now, nah, thank y'all, man. Like, seriously, five hours, y'all can get on here and just listen to me talk. I appreciate y'all for real. I get on here because I, I enjoy just talking to y'all, joking around and stuff. I mean, of course, I like talking about the TV show. But it's really just cool to get on here and talk to y'all. Shit, I, I really appreciate y'all. Y'all be on here five, six hours with me. Shit, man, I'm just glad I can help y'all out. Like, you know what I'm saying? You probably like doing some of your work, washing the dishes or something. You know what I'm saying? You just chill. You just need something in the background living to. You know what I mean? And I'm thankful that it's me. I'm glad y'all rock with me. We got the shot on Sunday. Well, pending what my brother wants to do. If he's trying to do something this whole weekend. I hope he ain't, though, because I ain't. I ain't got it, man. I ain't got it, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just one of those days. I ain't got it, man. Like, man, come on, bro. Derry, thank you for that four ninety nine. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. But nah, man, for real, getting on here for five hours just to listen to me talk and talk shit. Man, I respect that. I respect that. Cause y'all gonna be like, you know, you hear people, man. You could be anywhere, but like for real, for real, y'all gonna be doing anything. Like y'all gonna be listening to some real deal shit. Y'all gonna be listening to some old Snoop Dogg, but instead, y'all listening to me. Yeah. Hey, what up, Snoop? What? Up? Hey, Snoop. I got sixty five in there. Yeah. Where, where you at? I bet if y'all is Snoop live right now. All right. If he ain't live right now, I'm out doing uh. You know, I'm out doing uh uh. You hear me? I'm out here. Uh, it's me, baby. Yeah. 65 of them, five hours, uh, what you doing? Yeah, what you doing, uh? Shit. Someone holler at Uncle Snoop. Tell Uncle Snoop I need that death row chain. I've been waiting. I, I don't I don't know if he sent it to the right address or not. Someone get on the line with Uncle Snoop. Tell him Uncle Mo is looking for that death row chain. They said it was supposed to be in the mail. I ain't seen it. Maybe they sent it to the wrong address. You know what I mean? So we're going to try to get that death row chain. Oh, yeah, someone holler at 50. Hey, 50, we need a green light chain, too, the green light gang. You know what I mean? We need that in a death row chain. I think the, the chain collection will be complete. You know what I mean? Shout out to Rick James for that $20. Shout out to Rick James for that 20 She's a super freak, super freak. She's a super freak, yeah. Damn. Nah, but for real, I do appreciate y'all. I'm going to cut up these rants. We're going to have daily videos again. We got the shower on Sunday. 